Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgas Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deign to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. How did you learn about the attack? It only just happened. We heard the sounds of your battle. Watched the attack from a safe distance. Now you know what we endure. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. The matriarch appears sick. Does she need a doctor? Thank you, but we have our own healers. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. Removing that technology will neutralize the Flesh Raiders. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? The technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. Either one of those plans could work. My people aren't afraid to fight for their homes. We just lack the means. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi.
Once they have all this, the Twi'leks can defend themselves. Don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of here. Good thing the Flesh Raiders don't eat droids. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. I never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway.
She died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her! I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten! No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? Don't lecture me, Jedi! My wife is dead! Our people slaughtered! Where were you then? I took all the Flesh Raiders' weapons, so you can defend yourselves. Finally! One of you who understands. Give me those weapons. We'll hunt down the Flesh Raiders. We'll have retribution! The weapons are yours. I hope you find your enemies. I will, and they're going to pay. Emotions and weapons, never a good mix. Poor Selu. I understand his grief more than he knows. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person, and Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. T7 was captured by the Flesh Raiders. You'll want to see the holo recording he made. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. With the weapons and technology you brought from the Flesh Raiders, my people can defend themselves. You risked your life to help us. My people haven't had a champion for some time. <laughs> I'll be your champion whenever you need one. Oh, I, um... I should give you the information you requested. Morant, report. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi temple. Kaleth was a great city of Force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the Council. That hooded figure in the holo. I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. Do whatever it takes to push the Flesh Raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. I'll hold the line until reinforcements arrive, Master. If you see that hooded figure from the Holo, do not engage him. I get going. 
Your mission sounds dangerous. Be careful.
I seem to be cursed. Well, why do I always get the pupils who think they're the exceptions to the rule? Master Silvarte, it's true that our Padawans are acting a bit strangely, but I don't think there's cause for concern. Wait, I have an idea. You, Padawan, I know you. I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met, Master. Thank you, I stand corrected, youngster. I only know of you. Master Silvarte is concerned about a couple of our Padawans. He suspects that they are, well... If I am correct, they are following their passions down a dark path. I certainly understand your concern. In all other aspects, these two are model pupils, but I agree we would be remiss if we didn't do what we can to settle the issue. They may be more open and revealing with a student like you. We need you to confront them and discover if they are indeed cultivating a romance. I'm basically to become a glorified snoop, then. You're helping the Order root out the seeds of darkness. There's no task more important. Their names are Morrison and Spanios. As we speak, they are in the ruins of Lower Caleth. So go, talk with them, and report back what you discover about their relationship. Try not to alert or alarm them. If they are in love, they are sure to be volatile. I don't know if I can help you. Youngster, we'd like an answer to our quandary as soon as possible. Please head to the ruins of Kaleth and confront. Master Orgus's new apprentice. Wow. Everyone says you're great with a fibro blade. I'm Fia. Padawan Fia. Still have to get used to having a title. I've just started learning about the Force. I've got a long way to go before I'm as good as you. You seem a little old to begin the training. Until a few days ago, I didn't even know I could use the Force. I still can't believe I'm here. Just last week, I was crowing a garbage scow on Rax's Prime. Then this scary-looking Jedi shows up out of nowhere and says that he can sense the Force in me. What are the odds? Jedi aren't normally known for their intimidating appearance. Keldor just looks so dangerous. I'd never seen anything like him before. Uh, not that I have a problem with aliens. Say, do you know Master Tillin? He's the one who discovered me. I'm trying to get a message to him. Master Tillin is studying a big mystery in Kaleth's ruins. Something about ancient droids attacking people? If you're headed to the ruins, would you give him this holo recording from me? I'd be so grateful. Allow me to do this. Terrific. I can see why everybody here is so impressed with you. Here's the holo recording. Master Tillin has a small camp outside the ruins of Kaleth. Thanks for doing this. <laughs> 